welcome to Kugio Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this is a video series about how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. Hi, and welcome to Kugio Sound. If you've been following these series, then you will know that we have been working on the music system. Today, I'm going to be talking about transition parts, and more specifically, how to use the transition segment over here. We've made a music system in the past, but if you haven't been following, I'll just tell you quite briefly. We have two pieces of music here. If we press play on our main music switch, it'll go between the one called Static 1 and Static 2. It'll transition on the next bar. It'll sync to the entry cue, so it sounds like this. It just syncs to the various beats, and that's pretty much fine. But what if we want to mask the transition a little bit? We can add a transition element. A transition segment is over here. If you tell it to use a transition segment, you get to pick one from your list of whatever you have in your music system. Let's go ahead and create one. We are going to do that by adding a simple piece over in our music switch. And I found a very nice piece by my good friend who's been helping me out, Slava Pokorelski, who sent me a bunch of his libraries in the past. I've been taking a very close look at them, and they're really nice. There's a very nice spell whoosh here. It's just for the sake of the example. It doesn't have to necessarily fit the entire music piece. I'm just going to drag and drop it over into our music segment here and add it here. Just import it as you normally would. So now we have this piece here. You can take a look under content here in the music segment. This is how it sounds. So let's, when you look at this music segment here, the yellow marker is the play marker and the exit cue and the entry cue are the green and red ones respectively. Now you can move the entry cue to the right and still move the piece to the left. So what we're going to do is that we are going to add enough space here to probably drag this in like this all the way to the left and then we're going to say that our entry cue is right there so now our piece will sound like this our exit cue is over here by the end of it doesn't matter where the exit cue is in this example what we're going to do is that we are going to tell our transition system that this is now the transition segment that we want to be using and we want to be syncing it to the entry point. What will happen is that on the entry cue of the second piece of music that will sync to this, it will also sync that this will come in. This will play pre the actual transition point that we made and it will sync up the entry point here to where the beat goes. So let's try and do that. Transition from one to two, we're going to be using transition segment there. And we want it to play pre-entry and post-exit. Now let's try and see how it works. So what if we go into our piece over here and set the exit point here, very where the entry cue is as well. And then we go into our music cue as well and tell it that we want to hear post exit and pre entry. It should sound like this. That is how you use the transition segment over here. You can use the entry and the exit cues very, very specifically to sync up to very specific points of wh whatever track you're coming from and which one you're going to. It'll still be using the source and the destination entry points that you have told it over here, but now it'll sync up. And now if there is a small little glitch or something that makes it sound a little too static or a little too hard crossfaded, then you can use these segments to do this. That is how you use the transition elements. Thank you for watching this Kujo Sound video on how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. If you like this video, why not hit the thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel and all the time that I take off to create all this content, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel. 
I would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you again in another video, or check out some of the other videos on the channel. It's a lot of game audio stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.